Hello everyone, this is Mr. Lawrence. I am sitting here in my house. It is Sunday, uh, March 15th. I just wanted to go over a few things about just the way digital learning is going to work in English night. Um, I want to sort of get the messaging right here and talk you through just how things are going to work. Um, and I want to try to reassure any of your concerns as much as I can in terms of what I have control over. First, I want to say that I feel like I and many of and all of the teachers at Commerce High School um, and the administration and everybody in the central office, we are working really hard so that everybody in Commerce uh, the City Schools gets uh, just the same kind of education they would be getting if they were in school. Um, I am personally very prepared to teach this class digitally as long as I need to. And, you know, it's very important to me that both parents and students know that this is something that, like, we are taking very seriously uh, and that I'm going to try to deliver content as cleanly and as similarly to what you would get in the classroom as possible. So to that end, I want to just kind of go over some things um, of what I've prepared and what people should expect going forward. So um, this video is on my YouTube channel and hopefully you've gotten it because I've either sent you an email or I've sent you a remind or I've put it on Google Classroom. I've just, I'm going to just blast it out to everyone. So the YouTube channel is a good place to start to look at, you know, sort of the resources that you're going to have for digital learning in English nine. So if we go, you could see my link to my YouTube channel will look like this. You can see I've divided these videos into playlists. You can see I have all of my uploaded videos here. Um, and I divided everything into playlists. So you can say like all the frame activities, poetry, cultural literacy, English nine, Honors English 9 lessons. Um, these are usually, these two are just videos going over things that are gonna be due. Um, I'm very comfortable uploading as many of these videos as I need to, and every week, all of our direct instruction will be working through this YouTube channel. Now, further, um, we're gonna be using several different tools to help us facilitate digital learning in this class. So we're gonna be doing all of our assignments via Google Classroom. Uh, Google Classroom will look something like this to you. You'll have a stream, you'll have classwork. Um, we'll be turning everything in via this platform. Okay. Um, everything from here on out quiz wise will be done through Google classroom quizzes, which are sort of secure. It's a secure way to take quizzes. Um, you'll be doing annotations on a Google document for your poetry quizzes, and you'll be taking multiple choice quizzes for your cultural literacy quizzes. We're going to be shifting, um, so we're going to be shifting our grammar lessons over to USA test prep, which is a uh, it's a service that we already have access to. Everybody's already set up on every week. I will just put your grammar lesson on there or your grammar practice. We're going to, we're, we're kind of in the practice mode. We've already taught a lot of what we need to do in this class already. So we're going to switch over to kind of just doing daily practice on grammar. Um, in terms of your frame, you can see here, uh, we are going to be doing New ZLA and USA test prep as we have in the past. Um, not all classes have been doing New ELA. My honors class has been doing article responses. Those are going to continue. Um, we will be doing cultural literacy lessons via YouTube and then a quiz that will be due on Thursday. It'll be released before Thursday, so you can do it anytime between probably about Tuesday of that week and Thursday. Poetry lessons will be posted on YouTube each week. They're actually up as you are watching this video already. Uh, poetry quizzes will be due Friday before midnight. Grammar lessons, we're going to be on, as I said, USA Test Prep. And then each assignment will be due before midnight. Now, if you'd like to get in touch with me about anything, uh, you can send me, you can send me an email at nathan.lawrence.commercecityschools.org. You can also get, uh, students especially, can get on a Twitch stream from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Twitch is a um, platform used to live stream, um, live stream video games. Uh, we are going to be repurposing it to be doing like sort of office hours for this class. So basically, I will just be on there probably playing an obscure video game, honestly, for about two hours, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, every school day. Students can get on there and chat to me, and then I will answer them live um, if they have any questions. I think this will allow us to facilitate as much communication as we need. But if you have specific questions that you don't feel can be answered via email, I'm always very happy to uh, video chat you. We can do video chatting through um, Hangouts. We can do a Hangouts video call if you have a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, there are still several ways we can do Skype. I, I'm very flexible in terms of communication. I, uh, 
I am privileged in the sense that I have access to the communication tools needed to do pretty much any kind of communication that uh, parents or students would like to do. So uh, I guess my big takeaway message is, you know, we have a plan, we are going to execute that plan. And as long as we need to do execute that plan, we can execute that plan. I have no insight on how long schools are going to be out, but I want everyone to be rest assured that I have you know, I am, I'm am ready to do this if need be for the rest of the semester. I have no idea how long this break is going to last, but I do not want anyone to be concerned about an interruption of services from uh, their English class. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me in response to this email that I've sent out or via a remind message. Um, I look forward to hearing from you soon and thank you very much.